everyone. I'm Tiana Simmers from Point for Kids First, and today I'm going to be speaking with Jaden Triplett, who is one of the stars in Paramount Plus's new iCarly, which just renewed for a season two. Jaden is also known for her roles in Blackish, Family Reunion, and Apple TV C. She's here today to talk about her hilarious and totally sassy role as Millicent in the iCarly reboot. Welcome, Jaden. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. I've gotten to see uh, season one of this new iCarly and you nail it as Millicent. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited for season two. Yes, and I'm definitely proud of uh, everything that the show has become so far. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy that we're getting really great feedback from a reboot. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, iCarly is a revival of the original Nickelodeon series of the same name. And this one picks up 10 years after the original ended. So, I really love that it includes some of the returning cast, such as Miranda Cosgrove, Jerry Trainer, and Nathan Kress. So, now, with the first season kind of under your belt, what has been the biggest benefit of being the youngest and the newcomer to such an iconic show? Um, I think the main thing is that I'm around so many people who have been doing this for so long. And this is my first big series regular. So having wonderful people around me to teach me about everything that I'm doing and to maybe give me feedback on how I set a line or something else that I can do differently. It's just a blessing because, you know, I have great people around me. Yeah, and I was going to say, I'm sure it is a blessing knowing that you have such great people, especially the originals from the original iCarly, there to help you and guide you along. Yeah. So you play Millicent, who is Freddie Benson. Um, sorry. So you play Millicent, who is Freddie Benson's adopted stepdaughter. And she is an entrepreneur, a social media content creator. And she's totally sassy and snarky with hopes of, in a sense, replacing Carly as an internet sensation. Your character is also very well-developed in this series too. So how do you make Millicent stand out yet fit right in with the returning cast? Um, I think that my character is just something new. <clears throat> Sorry. I think that my character is just something new to the cast because everybody is kind of like Nathan or um, Freddie is the smart one. And then Carly is like the shy, but she's also like a celebrity one and then um Jerry is kind of like the crazy brother so having yeah. me is kind of balancing it out out um and I love how they develop my character because you know you don't you don't just want a character that's just always mean and just you know throwing jabs every once in a while all the time so I'm glad that they give me those sentimental parts like when um Episode seven, I did uh, I Love Gwen and I was playing Juliet. It was like a Romeo and Juliet um, episode. And it really showed my sweet side on why I'm so hard because I'm very vulnerable because, you know, my parents are divorced and my mom remarried to Freddie and I barely know him and it's, it's kind of complicated. Um, so I'm really glad that they can see my sweet side. Yeah, and I feel like Millicent is, is, in a sense, the missing piece to the <laughs> series. So I feel like without her, the story would be totally different. Um, so she definitely brings a lot to this show. Yeah. <laughs> so Millicent has been described as your alter ego. I mean, just talking to you right now, you seem very outgoing, but also very laid back and fun. So what are some of your favorite things about Millicent that you would like to take or try for yourself for one day? I just like how she knows everything. Like she's an entrepreneur. She um, she had the, the Millicent's Minions episode. That was so cool because it, she just seems like she's so smart and she knows everything. And I really like her. Um, I think one thing that I do want to try is to be more brave like her because she just goes straight out there. And I'm kind of like dipping my toe in the pool like, hey, is is that really where I want to go? So I think I can be like her by being more brave. 
Well, I would have to say you're already being super brave playing a character who is totally different from you. <laughs> yeah, alter ego. <laughs> yeah, so bravo on that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So people tend to be very nervous about revivals and reboots of shows, but clearly you all are doing something right because you are on to season two. So what do you think it drives the success in the interest of the show? Well, it was so big back then. So, you know, you already have all of those fans. So when you already build up that fandom, fans are going to want more after, you know, the season finale. They're going to think, well, there's more coming. I'm going to want to watch that. So I think being a reboot and having the same main cast and then being the same kind of the same people that they were in the original really helps people feel that nostalgia from the original. Definitely. And like I said, there's uh, some new characters in this. So even though it's um, like a revival or the show's just coming out again, it's just like a continuation of it. Right. So that's what makes it even more special. Like I said, it takes place 10 years later. Right. So what are you most looking forward to or hoping for Millicent in the second season? Well, I hope that um, there's still a lot of that snarky and sassiness, but there still is um, that innocent side of her. Like there's more of that, hey, can someone be here for me right now? Because, you know, um, I'm pretty sure in the story that my father passed away. So then my mother remarried Freddie. Um, so like, hey, my dad passed away. I only have Freddie at this point. So um, I hope that see in season two that they show more of that. Yeah, that would be a very heartwarming episode to see. Learn yeah. more, more about Millicent's backstory. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about you yourself as Jaden. So in the original series, Carly had a hater named iCarly57 who makes a return in season one. So what have you learned from being on the show um, and dealing with cyber bullies that you can share with us? Oh my goodness. Like when it comes to bullying, I just, it makes no sense to me because I'm like, okay, you're sitting in your mom's basement chatting to six-year-old kids and making them insecure about themselves but you can be doing something else with your life like you probably have no job <laughs> like it's it's not it's not okay um and I feel really bad for every kid that gets bullied on a day-to-day -day basis because it's really mean and unnecessary and you're just making them into a vulnerable person and into a person that is afraid of everything. And that's not, that's not what like people want to be, you know, people want to be strong and people want to be able to do other things than just hide in their closet away from everybody else. So bullying is not okay. And I'm glad that, um, that in the episode, Carly was like, you know what, I'm done with you because he was bullying her. And then he said, sorry, but that doesn't really make a difference because you already hurt her, so. Yeah, and I love how you phrased everything. That's an inspirational message that I think everyone really needs to hear. Yeah. Yes. So there are so many similarities between you and your family and the iCarly series. Do you find that you learn more things from the show that you can use to create content for your own YouTube channel? Or do you use things that you learn from the channel to incorporate them into Millicent's character? Um, I don't really understand the question. <laughs> uh, so basically I'm saying like, since in real life, you, you and your family have a YouTube channel Right. So you're already kind of like an internet sensation in that way. So do you take certain um, techniques from the show being an internet sensation as Millicent um, and take things that you learn from that and incorporate them into certain things you do with your family? Or do you use things that you take from Millicent's character on the show and incorporate them into things you do in real life? Um, well, I know that on the show, a lot of people make gifts and stuff. So with the memes and the gifts, my parents will constantly send me stuff like, um, 
bye because I had that one meme it was so funny when I was walking out on Harper um I'm forgetting what that episode was but it was a really fun episode and everybody like sends that to me when they're done with the conversation they're like bye (laughs) and it's so fun yeah I know my mom does that sometimes too that (laughs) is hilarious so for my last question what do you hope that audiences get from watching iCarly um I hope that they get the energy of friendship because I feel like the entire show is just built around five friends just trying to figure out life together in their late 20s, just doing things and having fun and being crazy. And I hope that people understand that that's what friendship is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be toxic and, you know, fighting every day. Although disagreements are very common in friendships, that doesn't mean it's toxic, but if you can't like agree on anything or you're always mad at each other, that's not a good friendship. So I think that iCarly has really shown what friendship is supposed to be. Definitely, I couldn't agree more. That is definitely something beautiful that people can take out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jaden, for your time today. I had a great time learning about more about you, Millicent, and the whole iCarly series. Thank you for having me. Yes. So everyone watching, make sure to check out iCarly Season 2 streaming on Paramount+. Plus. And I'm Tian Sermons. This was another great interview on Kids First. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our next reviews or interviews. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we're done. You think you can shoot me using that filter that makes my cheekbones all... Like an alien? A sexy alien. <laughs>